Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 27th through to March the 5th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have Major Arcana the Empress, followed then by the Six of Cups in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana Strength card, followed then by the Ten of Swords in the in the reverse. And lastly, five of wands in the reverse. So for your overall energy, you have the beautiful energies of the Empress in the upright position. If you need help or assistance in any way, Sagittarius, this week, do not hesitate to call upon a person in a position to be able to help you because they will be there ready and willing and able. Um, the Emperor shows a lot of compassion, caring, and understanding towards others, very much like the Queen of Cups. Um, but this person is really powerful. She can represent like the matriarch of the family. This could be the mother, the mother figure. This could be um, CEO of a company. So if you need this person's assistance in terms of work or anything like that, perhaps you need to talk to somebody, the head of HR, the CEO of the company or something like that. It shows that they will be quite uh, compassionate and understanding towards your place. Uh, if you need their assistance for any reasons, do not hesitate to reach out. For others of you, this could be uh, playing out in your own family. This could be your own you know, mother or grandmother or somebody in the family that perhaps you're reaching out to and talking to and they're showing a uh, great understanding. Maybe they're helping you in some kind of way. For others of you, you are the empress. You are the mother, the mother figure to someone else and you're showing yourself, um, you know, showing the best of your qualities and your abilities towards the people that come to you. Um, she's also very abundant can sometimes represent pregnancy, so that could be <laughs> happening as well for some of you. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Blast from the Past card, the Six of Cups in the upright position. This is the soulmate energy. Uh, this could be meeting someone who feels like someone from the past or literally um, having a connection to someone to the past. Maybe you're seeing them at an event. Um, could be uh, the one that got away for some of you. Or perhaps they're resurfacing. Maybe uh, they're single and you're single at the same time. And they could be reaching out to you at this point. Um, anything could be happening when it comes to the Six of Cups. But at least it's in the upright position. Indicating we are... Um, we are definitely re remembering the past fondly. So this can uh, definitely be getting together with old friends or anything like that, or even being feeling really nostalgic. Maybe you're looking over uh, old photo albums or something like that, playing Remember When with a good friend or something like that. Next card up is the Strength card in the upright position. Beautiful solar plexus activation. The Strength card comes up here to let us know that no matter what is going on around us, we can draw upon our own inner strength. Breathe, just breathe. This is just a moment. It will pass and um, we can get through it by pulling on our own inner strength. So when this card comes up, just just know that whether it's due to maybe this is an exhausting week for some of you, maybe it's an uncomfortable moment that happens. Just this is the gentle strength that comes from within, not brute strength. No need to get upset with it. anybody or freak out over on anybody. It's just about draw upon your own inner strength, the gentle strength that comes from within your own confidence. Take deep breaths and move past the moment. The next card up is the Ten of Swords in the reverse position, indicating that the swords will be falling out of a situation or a relationship that hit rock bottom. Ten of Swords in the upright position is where this is the last straw, where we cannot take anymore. This is just the last straw. The last knife went in our back. We're like, no more. No more. So it could be anything from a situation to like a work situation. Perhaps there was too many things going on at work and you felt stabbed in the back. This could be in your community or neighborhood. This could be in your family. It could be with a relationship. But when the card is inverted, this indicates that there will be a healing from the situation. 
So maybe that's why the strength card is here to let you know that if, because this is in reverse. So this means this, this already happened. So just take a breath, get past it because it will get better for sure. Because the, you know, this is about healing from the situation or making a comeback from a situation. And the last card you have is the five of wands in the reverse position. I'm glad this is in the reverse position because in the upright position, this is a lot of that. He said, she said, I call it the card that comes up, but just before full moon madness, as a matter of fact, the full moon is coming up, um, I think on the seventh or something. So, uh, this would be the week before full moon when it's in reverse this is coming out of a conflict uh, that it's just the he said she said drama um, or it can be moving past stiff competition because sometimes the five of wands in the upright can represent competition it's um in reverse so it's pointing back to the four of cup or the four of wands in the upright position which does indicate some kind of victory so if you were in a stiff competition it could be that you find out that you're victorious at the end of the week uh could it looks like something's been going on here and this week is the week that it kind of comes to a head and some for some of you it could be rooted in the past or with people from the past which could be you know, past friends, family members, people that you don't necessarily see anymore. Maybe this is what happened to your relationship with them. And now there's a healing beginning to take place. And the um, five of wands in reverse indicating that we've either, either stepped away from the drama or the drama has just diffused on its own, which it usually does. See, the full moon madness thing is about the week before. Once the, the full moon actually gets there, it's all diffused. Now that energy has just been absorbed and accepted. So nobody cares about it anymore. <laughs> That's why I always say, don't get involved, don't engage. So that is your reading for this week. Uh, Sagittarius, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the show. Share it far and wide. Um, take it easy. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye for now.